Welcome to the presentation of the CargoSteps web application. Here you have the view of the logged in web application that you can reach via cargosteps.com. That's the dashboard. There are currently no job orders. We can create a new order here or always on the top right corner next to the dark mode. As you can see, we create an order now by clicking on it. And now we have the option to choose our own reference number or customs number or whatever we want to use, or we just let the system create one. As soon as we've done that, the job creates a certain tracking ID. And this certain tracking ID brings us to the tracking website for this job order. But there is no information yet because we didn't add a shipment. So let's add a new shipment. We choose a pickup from the Cargoseps head office in Frankfurt. As you can see, here is a dot. We deliver it to the transport logistics fair in Munich. Here is another dot. We could put this somewhere else. And you see the route gets recalculated. The estimated distance will be changed. Now it's two kilometers less. You see the time, the estimated time that we will need. You can zoom into the whole route, the pickup address, the delivery address, whatever you need. Now we need to change the time when the shipment needs to be delivered because it is the same time and it's unrealistic to do it in a single minute. So let's give it five hours. And now you see the warning signal is gone. We have a realistic time to reach the delivery point. Now we add a package to this. We can choose a reference number. We can add notes. We can say we have a certain amount of items with a certain weight, weight certain size, and it calculates the volume. We can add other items with other information. We can add more packages to this, to this. And now we have the option to choose between our own employees as drivers who will fulfill this job or choose a subcontractor who then can choose one of his employees or himself or can forward the job to another subcontractor. That's an optional feature and one of the most important ones because it connects every necessary company involved. But let's choose an own team member. That would be me. So additional features. Let's add some like dangerous goods, a few data loggers. We can also say we got email addresses of customers that we want to inform, but that's not necessary because we will just receive the emails ourselves and there is no customer that we really want to inform at the moment with this example. So we saved the job and the shipment got created. You see now a status, it is on waiting because the driver didn't accept the job yet. As soon as he checks it out in his mobile app, he can accept the job and in a few seconds, it will the status will change. You also, now you see it, is accepted. You know that the driver realized he has a job to do and you see the status changed here. It's in progress. So you see also which dispatcher created the job. You see from where to where the shipment needs to go. All the information you have, who's the driver, you know, the size, the reference number and so on. You see uh, option an option to print a label if necessary and add on the shipment. And we have the tracking site website, which now has information. You see the address, pickup spot, delivery spot. You see the number of items, the volume, the size is the reference number and you have the dots on this map, which shows the pickup and delivery spot. And with one more option, you see here documents for the driver. We can add documents for the driver that will be displayed in the mobile app of the driver. Let me just choose one to just show how it works. You can add as many as you want. And you have the option to say, I want this document set up for a signature because we have a sign on glass feature on the mobile app of the, of the driver. 
And when you click on it, you can just choose where the signature needs to be set, save that, and this document now is ready to be set up for a signature. So when we go in the dashboard, you see the job was accepted. As soon as the driver says, I'm on the way to pick up the shipment, the tracking will start and you will see a pin at the spot where the driver really is located. And I'm still in the reach of this part of the map. So I will be shown, it might be around here in a second. Yeah, there I am. You can see the dot, you can click on this pin, you see the date, the time and my speed. I currently am not moving, so there is no speed. And there are dots below. You see they're like waypoints that get created while I'm on the way where you always see the time, the date, and the speed at the current point. And on the left side, you see the change, the first status update got created. We're now picking up, we have the date, the time, we have an ETA, we have the kilometers left to finish, to reach the delivery spot. And you see in the dashboard, the status changed too. You could filter different statuses if necessary. So if you need an overview, you can do that. You can sort out newest, oldest, first. You can type in a reference number to find a certain job. So however you want to choose. So let's say the driver reaches point number one, the pickup spot in Frankfurt at the Cargoseps head office, which you can see here. That's the address where to pick up this shipment with a certain reference number and so on. He has doc, a doc he can see the documents that are provided in his mobile app and so on. He has a checklist where he has to say the number of shipments is correct. We had dangerous goods. We said we have two data loggers. If you remember, now he can say after checking all those fields, after he really did a check and saw everything was correct, he can say the pickup was complete. As soon as he says pickup is complete and clicks on it, there will be in a few moments a status change here. You will see the second status point. We will also receive an email. There it is. That's the email. Shipment picked up. We got the reference number. We got the address where it got picked up, where it still needs to be delivered. And you got a link to the tracking website. And if we chose the customer's email to put in his email address, then he would have this tracking link and be can and reach this website here at this time in the uh, during the job. He would see, oh, there's live GPS data. He would be able to click on the pin, wouldn't see these waypoints that only for locked in people, so users of our software and not for customers. And he would see a second data point also got created. The shipment is in transit from the pickup spot to the delivery spot. He would see the ETA and so on. He would have all that information without doing a single call and without using valuable resources of the dispatchers in your office. Here you see the, the in-transit status change, like here, and what we saw here without even click on the tracking website. So the dispatcher doesn't need to always click on this tracking site to have everything displayed. So let's say we are at the delivery spot in Munich. We arrived after four or five hours driving and now we want to give someone the shipment. And they tell us, hi, my name is John Smith. I'm the one who received this. All right, you type in the name John Smith. We have the option to take a picture of the POD or wherever. And because we set up a document for signature, if you remember, there is a field, in the, a must fill out field, like the same like the name, where the customer John Smith can sign on the phone. And as soon as he signed his signature on the phone, it gets added. The driver says shipment is done and his 
the tracking will end. There will be a third status point. No more live GPS data. This will be gone. The pin, the waypoint will be there. We only created one. And just in a moment, there will be the change. There it is. It is delivered. Shipment is done. The point is gone. There is a second email. Shipment got delivered at the Transport Logistics Fair in Munich. It was handed over to Mr. John Smith. You still have a link to reach this tracking website to see the status points. I took a picture of my display with my phone as a POD or as a picture of a shipment of the shipment um, after delivering it. And now we see the document that we had set up with the signature of Mr. Smith, John Smith, time and uh, date and time. And this document is now available also for the customer if necessary. You see here, everything is done. No more GPS tracking. There is one waypoint that we created without moving. And the dashboard is empty because the job is done. Now let's check the archive. News first. So let's click on it. That was ours. You can see here the tracking ID. The job is completed. You see the shipment was successfully delivered to John Smith at that time and date. You can display the POD is always in our e-file. You can also see here the signed doc, the unsigned document and the signed document. You can display it and see there is a signature we got it so the job is done the driver is not being tracked anymore because now it's his free time maybe or he's off of work you got all the information without doing a single call and saved a lot of time the customer has a very good service and was informed all the time because as soon as the customer needs to ask it usually is a little late. So this proactive information flow saves a lot of time and raises the quality of the service and gives more control to the dispatcher. So there is more up, there are more options. Let's say we click on my cargo steps. You have here the company profile where you can choose your own company's colors. Let's say we choose the kind of red and you could pull in the logo your own could save this you would have a preview here below I just show you a little how it works you can just test it out yourself and this is the tracking page let me reload this as you can see we have this red color that we just chose ourselves we have red dots we have this in our corporate identity that we needed and if we pulled in the logo um, of a new logo we would see also this branding of this certain logo so you can rebrand the tracking page which your customers could see in your corporate identity and raise awareness of your brand so let me reset this I save that and back to the cargo steps default tracking branding so that's a nice feature right and so how does it work here? Um, you have edit team, you can add new users. You just type in the email of your employees, the name, the phone number, and you just choose one of two roles. So you can say account manager, that will be your dispatchers, shall be able to add jobs, display them, forward them, receive them and uh, so on and choose drivers and so on. Or you can choose drivers, so your own employees, if you have own drivers. If not, don't worry about it. They will receive an email with, with, uh, where they can um, just choose their own password and start using Cargo Steps by logging in with their email and their own password. If not, there will be always, the, always this sign here next to their names and you can set a password for them if they can't manage it for some reason, which sometimes happens. If you want to add partners, you click on partners. That could be subcontractors, that could be 
um, yeah, other freight forwarders, career companies, and so on. You just type in this uh, email address that you're communicating with all the time. Let's say uh, AOG at something, um, for example, and you send a request. If they have an account, they will get an invitation that they just have to accept like the LinkedIn connection. If they don't use Carrecepts yet, they will get an invitation via email where it just which tells them to just sign up and be connected with you. So they just need one or two minutes to sign up, create an account, which is for free, and will be connected with you immediately. So you can work in only moments or minutes, depending on the status, um, with other companies. No months of integrations and so on. You can just start worldwide immediately with everyone you need. That's very easy, just like your LinkedIn connection and you will be set up. So, I hope you enjoyed Cargo Steps um, and got a nice um, overview about what we do, how we do it, and as you know, there will be always new features coming, and if you want to use them, our tool is for free for 14 days. You can access all the features, and if you want to use Cargo Steps to its fullest potential, you just go on billing, you can add SEPA or credit card and just save it and activate our basic package, which only costs 29 euro and 90 cents per month per company. Doesn't matter how many shipments, doesn't matter how many users. It's very affordable. Um, the reason for that, we want everyone to be able to use it. And a nice thing, our mobile app for the drivers is always free. It's a free app. It has already 14 languages for the drivers, so they make less mistakes if they receive a job in their mother tongue. And if you're just a one-man company who just receives a job and does it your, uh, drives yourself without forwarding it to other people, you're still a free user, so you wouldn't even need to pay this amount. So it makes it very easy. And um, yeah, I hope you enjoy it. If you have any questions, don't hesitate to contact us via phone or email and reach out to us so we can help you out um, and answer your questions. And a nice information, we also have an API, as you can see here. We are integrated into a few transport management systems already. So if you have a certain forwarding system you're using on a daily basis, we provide our API for free. So it can be integrated into that tool, which only takes one or two weeks and it will be done. So you can use Cargo Steps to its fullest out of, your, out of our web application that you can see here. Or you just have it integrated as an add-on into your transport management system, for example, and just use it out of there. So whatever you choose, we're happy to have you on board and um, we hope you enjoy our tool and it saves you a lot of time like it does for many people already in 22 countries. Thanks and have a nice day.